Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Steph's Poker Review. Joining me again today is our lovely assistant Eduardo. Today I will be opening a whole bunch of these. I've got 10 of these. For those that don't know who they are, they are French sample packs. These things usually come with like a Pokemon themed magazine. Now the magazine itself is very much geared toward kids so if you're an older fan that might not be very interesting for you to get but the cards they come with are legit these are sample packs with three cards each they are in french but i haven't been able to find any in english so i'm not sure if it's just because only the french do it but i haven't been able to find any others I have no idea what the pull ratios for these are, like, for all I know, I might be getting just commons and uncommons, but who knows, I might get something good out of these. So let's just dig right into them. I'm not sure if they open, yeah, I'm gonna need scissors for these. Go. Now, I would be very surprised if I actually do get something good out of it. Wait, wait, what's that? Well then, you get the whole thing with advertisement. Well then, it's actually quite an old. A card list for evolutions, like you can check your cards. That's actually convenient. I just hope we didn't put that in every single one. What? Uh... Yeah, as you might notice, the names are different. So you've got a seal, a magnemite, and a ghastly. Phantominous. Well then, I'm not gonna judge. I don't really get why they have to change names though. I mean, obviously they did it for the English names too. Because English names are already different from the Japanese, so Dodo, that's the same. Caterpie. And a drowsy. Ignore the background noises, there's construction going on. I they're they're, they're not stopping like at all. Weedle. A magic card bonus points. We go. The dark energy. Uh -huh. And then we've got a Diglett, another Ghastly, and a Caterpie. For now, I've only been getting like commons. Yeah, that might be might be a thing not like I was expecting to get like a super rare out of these but well you never know an energy four picks and a tangela then again they are sample packs so I guess it would make sense to not have like the star cards in these star me Pikachu Another dodo. <laughs> now, it might just be that I either I'm getting very unlucky or that it's just only commons in here. Charmander, Voltorb, and that fire energy. We're down to three packs. Yeah, they really do put that in every single one. A Voltorb, a lot of fire energy, and a Vulpix. Oh boy. I wish I would stop drilling. Yeah, I do apologize for the background noises. Magnemite, Charmander, and a Steel. Last pack, guys. Last pack, you to make yourself useful, you stupid sample packs. Uh, 
A rattata. That's one we didn't get. A diglet. And not a ghastly. So we basically just got a whole bunch of uncommon of common cards, but I guess it would be good since it comes with a kid's magazine. But if you're actually trying to get something good, I guess it's not really worth it. Then again, perfect for kids. So yeah, that does it for this episode of Seth Perky Review. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.